Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I just have a few quick messages I wanted to get out there um, from yesterday and today. And I might pull a card for you too, um, if I have time. I just wanted to make this real quick. Uh, so a couple things that I didn't get out there yesterday that I wanted to, and then just a few more things. Um, The numbers that have been coming up, I've been seeing a lot of, uh, you know, 101, 1212, 12, 12, 111 came up several times. I keep waking up at 808, 707 has been coming up as well as the number 38 a lot. Uh, the number's 44 and uh, sevens as far as timelines, I keep hearing sevens. Um, and that could be days, months, years, whatever, but it's just seven timelines. Um, something that had come up yesterday, I'd gotten, uh, you know, sometimes when I write, um, spirit changes the word as I write it. And for, uh, writing, uh, gluten, I was getting glutton. So relating, eating gluten type things as gluttony. That was interesting. Um, Also, um, Stairway to Heaven came up, and uh, three. this was yesterday, 3-4 shut the door, so if you haven't detached, maybe it's time to detach. 3-4 shut the door, surrender. Um, also, I was getting that reasoning was being related to suffering, because reason has to do with um, logic, right, and trying to figure out that which can't be figured out, so there are times where you don't need to reason because that's just going to cause more suffering. Um, you might find that Divine Masculine hanging out with kids this week as well, even if they don't have kids. Um, just as an example, my son's been uh, dealing with Little League all week, but um, that's definitely coming up. Uh, the numbers 17, of course, have been coming up a lot this week. Um, also... To communicate through music, um, not just, you know, not just hearing songs and getting messages that way, but actually communicate using music. So play music if you play music or just listen to music. Um, the mother energies are coming up again to deal with mother issues and forgive your mother. Um, I literally got in my sand art today uh, a baby seal where there was like a mother shark and it had a really sharp nose and the sharp nose was like jamming it into the baby seal. And then the baby seal turns into this blob happy face because they forget the wounding that they have when they were young. And the um, and once the shark pulls away, it's just this blob of a happy face all of their life being reminded that there are traumas from your early childhood that you don't remember. Maybe you wanna dig into that or maybe when your, your mother was pregnant with you that kind of stuff might come up. But anyway, just to forgive those mother wounds or maybe have a talk with your mother if you need to. Um, and I, I was also reminded about abun abundance and gui guidance, right? There, abundance is a B-U-N dance and guidance is a guide dance, right? So those are our, our calls to action. That's a B-U-N dance is because B-U-N is a, a purge of toxic stuff from your body, right? just a lab test but it's like the kidneys um, transmute energies just like we are doing so it's the dance of transmutation and integration and then the guide dance of calling into your guides and then separating from your guides so I was uh, being called to uh, make you aware of this of this label in a way to remember that those are the two dances the purge dance and the guidance dance also Again, I said one, one, one's coming up. Actually, ones, elevens, and triple ones, triple twos, thirty-seven and thirty-eight, which are the queen, of, the king and queen of cups, coming up. Um, and like I said before, twelve, seventeen, twelve, twenty-one, one, two, threes, four, five, sixes, all that kind of stuff. Um, also. Uh, a star is born. 
I watched that last night. It was very profound. And I had a, uh, a deja vu with something too. That had to do with the angels. I, that'll come up in a second. Um, in Stars Born, a couple lines I was called to write down. One of them was love, ageless, and evergreen. Okay, being the heart chakra and relating to that, how beautiful it was. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, the other line was from, with one more look at you, that's the end of the movie, which always gets me. Um, I'll solve the mysteries if you're the prize. And it has to do with the codes, the codes that we get. I'm a, co I'm a code breaker, so I get messages and I'm supposed to figure out the codes. Um, so you may be doing this as well. Also to, ooh, playing, again, playing your instruments came up. If you hadn't done that in a while, to play your instruments. Also to ground your hands as well as your feet. So when you ground and you do deep breathing and you push it out your feet to ground and grow roots and send your, um, your energy down to the center of the earth. Um, also do this through your hands to open up your hand chakras for healing, okay? You might be guided to put your hands on certain parts of your body for healing. Um, and again, there's still sexual energy coming up. The devil is in the details came up, and I think that was more specific to the divine masculine. Um, yeah, and dreams, if you want to remember your dreams, because I, I haven't remembered my dreams at all in the past few years of going through this. Rarely did I remember a dream, and I've been in t more specifically intending it, and actually have remembered uh, two or three dreams within the past week or two. So you know, intend that before you go to sleep at night if you want to remember your dreams. Um, again, I said the number seven's coming up. Oh, I was getting a block this morning of the solar plexus, hearts, and like half the throat. So the, the throat wasn't fully blocked, but the heart and the solar plexus was coming up as blocked and needing work. So um, there's some energy work you can do, but you know, do your intentions of clearing the solar plexus and heart blocks as well as the throat. Um, Uh, this is the uh, the deja vu I had was the angels are calling um, and I can't remember it was a, a movie I watched years ago I was getting a deja vu about I think in regards to this I don't know if this was um, City of Angels might have been I don't remember but it's, it was a feeling that I'd gotten that was so strong but the angels are calling um, Yeah, and this, and be careful about um, respecting yourself and not allowing yourself to be manipulated. Um, remember, it's to love yourself first, that your first loyalty is to yourself, and never feel pressured. Always make sure to listen to your body when deciding whether or not to do things. Your body will tell you, not your mind. Uh, 37 sevens, 38 again. I was getting about K through 10 too. So again, that's bringing up kids and spending time with kids. Um, again, there's still some aggression out there from the divine masculine energy in both of us. Um, I hear a lot of music being blasted outside, things like that, but it's better than it was. Um, and, you, and you might be surprised too, as far as blocks, like your blocks might actually be your twin and the way you see your twin and your twin's blocks may be you and the way they see you. So there's that mirroring going on right now. Okay, some people, some karmic situations may be getting weeded out. Um, who is who is for your highest good and who is not? Yeah, and just clearing things out. And things might come up um, that you can you know, compare to old situations, you'll become more clearer on. So there's just, these are just some of the things I want to bring up. So I'm going to uh, pull a card for you really quickly from my Syrian deck, which I don't usually use. Um, this I use for my personal readings in the morning, and I have used it before in a public read, but I don't usually. You guys haven't responded as much to the, the Syrian deck as the other ones I usually use, so. But I use it for my codes in the morning because I get great codes from it. So the card that I got here is 
uh, the Ten of Chalices. I'll show it to you here, if I can get it in here. Okay, that's the Ten of Chalices in the Syrian deck. Okay, so that's a really beautiful card. And that's all about family happiness. That's a beautiful card to get today. The bottom of the deck is the Ten of, of Orbs. And I'll show you that card too. Oh, the Lovers is right underneath that. So, so the Lovers, here's the Lovers card in this deck. Look how beautiful it is. Okay. And then the Ten of, this was on the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Orbs. So there you have two Tens here in the Lovers. That's ending of cycles. Okay, see, look. That's the Ten of Orbs. And that's funny too because I have a, a little metal character uh, where he's kind of like, you know, an E.T. type shape. But he's, it was something that was my, at my parents and he, he's holding his head, you know, like he's in grief. And I found him face down on my chair today, which was strange because he's not usually there. He's usually on a table, which is about a foot away from that spot. So I don't know if I just left him there when I was cleaning but I don't think so I don't know how he got there but he was face down you know and he's holding his head so it was like definitely representative of the divine masculine going through some grief so we definitely have end of cycles we have ten of cups we got ten of swords and the lovers so some really beautiful energy here so take advantage of it okay um, hope everyone's doing well today and rise and be love you guys have a great week bye